segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Eric Capehart, and he is the uh, founder of a mentoring organization called All the King's Men. And Mr. Uh, Capehart, let's see if we can pick up where we left off uh, during the last segment. Uh, we sort of thought I was running out of time, and I had more time than I uh, thought. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, let's pick up uh, by uh, talking about this uh, program, All the King's Men, and the way that you wish to uh, present it to uh, the uh, audience this morning. Sure. Um, in the last segment, we were talking about some of the exposures that mm -hmm. we have been able to receive since we started the organization. Mm -hmm. In, we have an internal campaign, it's called Think Global. Mm -hmm. It's a concept that spans throughout our entire staff. And mm -hmm. what, the, what Thinking Global does, it, it, we try to put in the mindset of all of our staff, mm -hmm. our board members, our volunteers, mm -hmm. we try to put into their minds that we are a global organization. Mm -hmm. We're not just a local organization mm -hmm. because the vision is a global vision. Mm -hmm. And with that, we've been able to get tremendous exposure. Um, mm -hmm. One story that I really like to tell is um, a couple months ago, we mm -hmm. received a phone call from a lady in Toronto, Canada, mm -hmm. and she had heard about some of the exposure that we were getting from um, a local news station mm -hmm. here. She saw the story, and she was very interested in what we were doing mm -hmm. here, simply because she was running the same type of organization mm -hmm. in her home state, mm -hmm. home country, <laughs> mm -hmm. Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. So she gave us a call and said she would like to come down and meet with me. So she flew down here for mm -hmm. one day, and uh, we met, had a really good meeting, mm -hmm. lasted a couple hours, and she went back home the next day. So mm -hmm. knowing that we were able to reach someone in another mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. it's very important for us to be constantly mindful that we are a global, global. organization mm -hmm. and that we are to think global. Mm -hmm. Some of the other um, exposure that we've been able to get, we've mm -hmm. received phone calls from Chicago, which actually in a few weeks, I'm actually headed to Chicago mm -hmm. because we're in the initial phases of starting another chapter mm -hmm. in Chicago. So mm -hmm. that's one of, another great thing. Just recently, um, maybe a week ago, we were featured in the Jackson Sun newspaper. Um, mm -hmm. They gave us a call because they're kind of experiencing some of the same things that mm -hmm. we're experiencing here as mm -hmm. it relates to mm -hmm. teenage crime mm -hmm. in the African-American community, especially mm -hmm. the boys. Mm -hmm. So they gave me a call and then we did a phone interview and we were featured in that. And we get calls from all around the country, but mm -hmm. we have a, a very strong support base here mm -hmm. in our own home state and our national headquarters here mm -hmm. in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and so this, this is a, a, an opportunity, a real opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this program all about, uh, Mr. Capehart? Sure. I'll tell you, all the King's men, we have a very strong mission. Our mission statement is to reduce the disproportionate minority contact with the juvenile court system amongst the male population across mm -hmm. the United States of America. Mm -hmm. In short, what we're trying to do is we're working to reduce the number of times mm -hmm. African American boys particularly yeah. come into contact with the juvenile court system. Mm -hmm. um, when we started All the Kings Men, it just kind of started, you know, I mentioned that the competition for the Mr. Tennessee and I wrote down everything that I thought that made me become mm -hmm. the man that I was at that time. Just simple things like learning how to tie a tie, learning how to wear a suit, mm -hmm. you know, how to talk in front of people, just simple things. And what I did was I created a nine month curriculum and mm -hmm. I told uh, my campaign manager, I said, hey, man, this is the vision. And if it only if if we're the only two people that do it, Good. this is something that I know that we can do. And he was all for it. And we started it. Mm -hmm. We used to meet one day a week at the Hadley Park Community Center. Mm -hmm. We met on Saturdays with a, a group of kids, about 15 boys. And we met with them every Saturday for a whole year. Mm -hmm. um, somewhere through the, the year, we started realizing that we're making a tremendous impact in the mm -hmm. lives of these mm -hmm. young boys. Mm -hmm. And the way that we were able to recognize that is because their families would come to us, their mothers would come and say, hey, mm -hmm. my son is wearing ties to school every day now. You know, I, I didn't know he knew how to tie a tie. Mm -hmm. Or my son is getting in less fights. Or he's, you know, his teachers are calling and saying he's, you know, been much better in school, mm -hmm. not only academically, but also behavior wise. Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of getting a little steam about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what we started to do was we started to take a real internal look at what we were really doing. Okay. And we started doing more research. And what we found was that what we were doing it was called group mentoring. Mm -hmm. Most traditional mentoring programs, okay. they do what's called one to one mentoring, mm -hmm. where they match a student with the adult mentor mm -hmm. and they meet maybe one or two hours a month or however. Mm -hmm however the frequency is for that. Mm -hmm. But we realized that what we were doing was known as group mentoring. Mm -hmm. What we were doing was we were inviting just different people to come out and speak to our guys, um, different people from mm -hmm. fraternities, or just anybody in the community that has something positive to mm -hmm. give to these young black males. And we were doing it in a group setting. Mm -hmm. And so we said, okay, now we're kind of starting to develop what we're doing. Okay. At least now we know we're doing mm -hmm. group mentoring. Mm -hmm. So what we did at that point, we took it a step further. 
and we started doing more research about you know juvenile justice and delinquency and mm -hmm. so what I, I came across the office of juvenile justice mm -hmm. uh, delinquency and prevention mm -hmm. and I came across there's a list of models that they have mm -hmm. And the model that we use in All the King's Men is known mm -hmm. as the after school recreation model. Mm -hmm. So the after school recreation model has three major functions. The first function is mm -hmm. to provide adult supervision. The second function is to provide positive social interaction and, and positive enriching in experiences for the students. Mm -hmm. And it's also the third function of it is to provide help with homework. And so that's what we were already mm -hmm. doing, but we didn't know that it you're, was called you're group you know, monitoring, uh, we, we, mentoring. Yeah, we didn't mm -hmm. know that it was. We, were, we didn't know we were doing group, group mentoring, mentoring. Mm -hmm. but what the the way we were doing group mentoring was already proven. Mm -hmm. It was an, uh, the the model that we use is mm -hmm. an evidence based mm -hmm. model mm -hmm. from the Office of Juvenile Justice, mm -hmm. Delinquency and Prevention. So we said, hey, we're already doing some things, mm -hmm. in, you know, that has already been proven to work, mm -hmm. and so that's the basic function mm -hmm. of that's the basic model that all the king's men use is mm -hmm. we use a group mentoring and we've added the after school recreation model from mm -hmm. the office of juvenile justice mm -hmm. and delinquency prevention mm -hmm. so that's what we do um, mm -hmm. no go on oh also um our programming it's a it's a nine month program and mm -hmm. what what we offer in those nine months, we offer a leadership development program. Mm -hmm. It's our signature program. We are very proud of the success that we've had with it. It's Good. called the Kings in Training. Mm -hmm. Basically what the Kings in Training program is, is when any student is enrolled into all the Kings men, mm -hmm. we put them, we enroll them into the Kings in Training. Mm -hmm. Now what we've done was, uh, the, there's an organization called the Search Institute. Mm -hmm. And what they have developed is something that is known as the 40 developmental assets of an adolescent. And so what we've done is we've highlighted some of those developmental assets mm -hmm. and built a program around some of those developmental mm -hmm. assets, mm -hmm. which in, we call that our Kings in Training mm -hmm. program. It's a very positive um, program for these young boys. We, it's, it's, it's the signature program mm -hmm. that we, we, we bring these boys in and we introduce them to what it means to, to, to live mm -hmm. as a, a, a responsible mm -hmm. young man in today's communities and societies mm -hmm. and, and also be able to deal with and handle some mm -hmm. of the things that they're being faced mm -hmm. with. So that's our signature program. Mm -hmm. We also have another program that we just started this year. It's called mm -hmm. the King's Course. Mm -hmm. And the King's Course is simply designed to prepare young boys for life after high school. Mm -hmm. We do GPA assessments. We take them on college mm -hmm. tours. We um, bring in people from different colleges mm -hmm. and universities to speak with the kids. And we also give them something very important is we actually expose them to college life so that mm -hmm. when they go on these college campuses, they're not so overwhelmed with college life. Okay, and, and of course, Mr. Capehart, let's take this uh, second commercial break and we'll sure. come back and we'll pick up at this uh, particular point. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.